just a little disclaimer before we start with the video. Um, I divided it in three different parts because the initial video got actually so long it would have been not really that comfortable to watch it and this way it might be a little bit more. Also I implemented or put in some timestamps and this way you can get to the point where you wanted to go and see what you wanted to see. <laughs> Enjoy the video! Hey everyone, welcome to a really special video and I have been waiting for this for so long but it's finally time. First though I wish everyone a happy new year and a great time in this 2023. So where are we? We are currently on the mansion map as I would like to call it. Um, we are currently here because this is the solution video to Dimension and I'll show you everything. Secrets, how you're getting through Dimension, what you're going to encounter, all the things that revolve around Dimension. Let's just get started with where you actually spawn because you will be placed in here once you enter this world. Um, I assume that either you play it alone or with friends, but actually this mansion is made for roughly five or more people. Otherwise it can get a little bit tricky. You will spawn in this little room right here in the waiting room and there's a little book for you to read and once the admin is ready to go and has everything set up that he wants to set up because there are also some admin settings down here in this little area um, that I would advise the admin or the one who joins the server first to check this out and set everything up. Okay, first of all you can see over here um, all the different mobs that will be in this mansion or that you can find in this mansion. I will rank them from worst or least effective to most effective um, to dangerous. So starting off we have this the sneaky thief I think he's called and you can see there are some doubles in here but they are different. Um, I'll go over this in a second. First of all we have the sneaky thief as I mentioned and this guy only works with his companion. This guy launches uh, his bullets at you and if they hit you you drop the current item that you're holding and if this um, and if this might be your sword then this guy is really quickly going after it and tries to grab it and you have to kill him to get it back. The item that is on the ground or that you drop when he shot you will stay there for five seconds so yeah this way you have um, a better chance of picking it up because if you stand there first and the LA comes second and you stay there you will most definitely pick up the item not the LA. Okay this one done. Also they can only they can only be killed with so if I try to punch them it doesn't work. They can only be shot they can only be shot or damaged with bow and arrow. Okay so that's something you will encounter later on in the mansion and we'll see him there too. Next thing is the healing blossom. This guy shoots as well as this guy bullets at you but if he shoots at you and you get hit you uh, receive a 2 second region 2 effect. Next thing. Probably the worst bit in, this, um, in those rows here is the pillager. Purely normal nothing special about him. Next is the witch, also nothing special about her, um, just throwing potions as, as usually. Uh, yeah. Next is the sneaky raider. It's special about him because if you uh, if you hit him and you kill him, as you can see he's holding, currently it's me because of the texture packet that I'm having on, but this is a totem and if you kill him he will trigger the totem first. He also has a quicker reload time, so I think he's ha he got quick charge 5 or something. 
and this way he can shoot faster so it's basically an upgrade for the pillager next guy um already in the next tier i would say is the vindicator of course a heavy damage output that he's got and yeah same with the evoker uh in the admin room you can disable or enable the vexes and the evoker fangs default is the vexes being turned off and the fangs being turned on moving on yeah she just went somewhere as i was saying sneaky uh, sorcerer also a mob that it's found that is found not in the actual mansion but uh, below and she just has levitation effects that's everything that she's got and she will basically that's the only reason why she in this ca why she is in this in this category um and that's because she will float up on the ceiling and the the area where she is it's pretty dark so you won't be able to see her as good as usually and that's what gives her this advantage of throwing potions at you from up above while you fight other mobs okay next one illusional pretty same as witch but he's a little bit better i assume he's just a pure purely normal illusional has his normal clone tactics blindness tactics whatever and yeah next one on the list ravager high damage output that's his that's the only thing that he can do very well this is at once the sneaky invoker and as you can see he has all, uh, he also has this those particles as well as the one on the left and special about him is his fangs do more damage uh vexes will still be disabled but his fangs do way way more damage than usually that's why also only a few of them are in those areas where he can be found second last sneaky conqueror he is slower but he has increased damage output that is insane he in full netherite armor i just said it he gives you three hits or four hits and you are dead and the last one um actually a mob that i'm pretty excited about to show or to always put into the mansion is the disguised piglin brood the disguised piglin brood has a an uh what is it called vindicator mask and also has an axe before this he actually had an iron axe but i upgraded him he also has a resistance one uh effect as well as a strength two effect and he is faster i believe i think he's faster we can test it in a second okay so i got one right here and i have as you can see full netherite armor I'm going to go in survivor and see what he does. 1 2 3 4 5 and oh uh, that's because I have strength. Um but he is going to rip you apart because he won't um there is always multiple ones of them in the mansion. And since this is a solution video I can tell you that they will appear in the upper as well as in the second part of the mansion. Okay, so those are all the mobs covered. Let's actually move on to the mansion. Usually it's nighttime, so this. That's usually how it looks when you when you are on the map. And when the admin decides it's time, he can go into the admin room and start it from there. And this teleports everyone that is um, anywhere on the map to this point right here and you will be set to adventure mode. In those boxes, in this mansion survival kit that I've prepared for you, you will find one netherite armor, a second backup armor, three shields, totems, food, gapples, bow, crossbow, whatever you prefer, a trident that is um, enchanted with Riptide, you will need it a couple of times in the mansion. Um, basic sword, fully maxed, a snowblower. Those two are like those special items. The snowblower is for powdered snow because around the mansion there is powdered snow. Where is it? Right here. And if you get stuck, this is your way out. You just break it and then you can jump out. This guide is basically just for 
you to look in if you don't know certain stuff or aren't really familiar with some things and here's where you can look through them. Once you've got yourself prepared and are ready to go actually and the admin has set every second that every setting that he wanted to set we can go to the mansion. Hey all, it's me again. Um I'm just realizing this while editing. Um I haven't said anything about this. Um this map in case you want to put it on the server, you need an actually pretty okay server for this to work. Because and same with single player, I believe it's uh, it depends on how good your PC can handle it, but server-wise it's a little bit more realistic because multiple players will be playing here. Um, so in case, you, in case you're wondering, you need a good server for this to work, because there will be particles at the start, there will be particles displayed, and there are, in this mansion, there are over 1500 entities. If you decide to put it on a server, make sure that your server can handle such massive amounts of mobs. Um, I'm having this on, on my server right now, like I'm on a server, and while I'm there, I'm having a couple of FPS drops, that's fine, um, but my mobs are completely invisible right now. Yeah, and also, there is the fact that Although I'm having no problems with FPS and I'm and I can switch game modes really quickly, meaning I have no internet issues or something, um, the mobs are slow and I can I can actually show this to you really quick. Um, <laughs> see this? Those are the brutes, um, and that's how they move. And this will be your uh, experience when you fighting when you're fighting against them. So make sure your server is good enough to handle this. Um, and yeah, I'm just putting this out so you aren't surprised when something doesn't work or isn't or if it's not a good experience in playing. Um, I also want to put a, a point out <coughs> that. If you find any bugs, any any of those sort, something that you can abuse to get quicker to the end, or anything you find is unintentionally or doesn't work, please let me know. I would like to fix it as quickly as possible. Yeah, that's just something, side note, to let you all know. Thank you again, and enjoy the video. Once you have everything prepared and you're ready to go in, uh, yeah, that's the first stop that you're going to make. This room is usually contains a riddle or some kind of contraption that you have to figure out and open those doors. In this case, it's something that you have to rename, and it's a paper, and you rename it, rename it to water. And that's because of the last mention. In the last mention, there was a lectern that contained information about the question that is asked here: What was the first one's demise? And it is in the lectern in an older mansion, so this way you you can't know the answer. And yeah, I actually will include the password to enter the mansion in in the video description next to the download link. Once you enter it, this right here will open, and you can advance into the actual mansion. First step go into the launch, or through the launch rather, enter the meeting room 1. In the corner, last barrel, you'll find a room of dreams. A room of dreams name tag. Um, with this you go back to the other side, through the office, into the side entrance, through the bedroom 1, into the rear area, and here you will uh, go into uh, into the room of dreams by just holding this name tag. You will head into this little corner, this little secret entrance, and here you will find a water bucket that can be placed on wax exposed cut copper stairs. <laughs> uh, and with this, you will head back into this hallway. 
go up here and flick this lever actually and this will open the path through the master bedroom or to the master bedroom rather with this you head back the entire way over to the meeting room one and there you will see master bedroom open in here you will find over here the wax exposed cut copper stair where you place the water and then this will open before we enter this door let's actually head back into the meeting room one and up here you will find a hidden secret button that takes you in here this is all covered with uh, powdered snow so be careful because if you fall through you have to exit dimension over here and try again if you make it you can go over here enter this room and keep the door open right like this and in here this is where the trident comes in you have to actually stand here and try to get up in there if you manage to do this you can hop over onto the other side and this is the hallway too and in here you will find a lever with this we can head back over into the master bedroom once we are back here we can enter now and here you will find press to call master bedroom elevator you press it this lamp turns on locks this uh, locks this button and you'll hear an elevator you can enter and go up and as you can see there are two dispensers usually they contain a regeneration potion this one and a weakness potion this one and in both dispensers there is one of each and depending on your luck either the weakness potion or the regeneration potion will be spit out when the elevator starts and when it comes back up the other two that are in those dispensers will be shut out and that's the effect you will receive when you go up here entering the hallway 3 that we opened um, the door to hallway 4 you can actually enter and then head straight down here into the bedroom 3 in here you will find the rust remover that can break waxed exposed copper our next step is actually to head out of dimension and down into or down to the entrance once you made your way through here uh, you can actually go to the left and follow this path because now we are going into the greenhouse inside the actual greenhouse you will find first of all a lot of mobs and down to your left you can enter right here by doing this little parkour and going in here once you're in here go to the back and press this button this will open but i because i just know that people will try to press buttons whatever and you have to press this button fall down and get into this passage follow it and you will end up over here this passage led to the main power facility which collapsed and the illusioners uh, and the illagers had to build a new passage to this in here you have to go down here and turn on this power plant to work again for this you will need at least two players because you have to press this button and this button at the same time once you manage to activate it you will see that everything turns on in here once you completed this step uh, it's time to head actually back into the mansion okay we are now back at the location where we last left off and you actually have to go over in this direction because down here it's closed up um, so yeah let's do this real quick and head into this stair stairway staircase whatever and you actually want to head straight up past this and into the next staircase and you want to exit one and uh, no in the in the first floor we just skip the second floor because there's no door we're going in the first floor in here you can either unlock this um, checkpoint basically for hallway 4 uh, because that's where we just were then you head up into this uh, activity room 2 
and then you have to complete this little parkour thing where you have to work with a bow to activate this and then hop back up. As soon as you manage to get up here and leave the parkour behind, y one of you has to basically drop down and this room will be full of mobs and manage to open this lever. Advance into the main office and that's actually your goal and where you have to go. You head through here, up the staircase, fight through mobs if needed, can activate another checkpoint right here and go into the main office and that's actually your last goal because in here you will find the research facility key take it and make your way into the side entrance just for orientations the side entrance is on the left office one and then you will find the side entrance with the pickaxe that you gathered in bedroom three before uh, you can actually break wax exposed copper and that's something you want to do and that's actually those eight blocks you can break exactly eight blocks with it and it wouldn't make a difference if you do or not because there aren't any other blocks so you break them and then it's gone and you head down into actually the basement and that's something that's the new part you make your way through here And yes, it's going to be a little bit loud in here. And I'm just going to turn down my volume. Okay. Then you enter the research facility key in here. Get access to this. And you flick this lever. Open facility entrance. You hear, the, you hear a door. And then make your way into this area. Okay, once you made it into this containment chamber... Um, you can enter and this is actually com connected with a lot of backstory and if you want to know more about it there are lecterns all over the mansion that you can read through and learn a little bit about this. After you enter this you can actually head into this place and make your way through this area and here you can not get stuck here you can enter this area there's nowhere back currently. I don't know why there's a button. Why there's no button. Uh, that's weird. Okay, I'll fix this. <laughs> um, okay, once you're in here, that's also another, another alternate route. You have to follow this entire path. Down this line. Right through here. And basically, as soon as you arrive at the end... There's this door. It doesn't seem like a door, but it's a door. And therefore you have to go here because there's a hidden lever. That's kind of a little bit of a troll. Thanks for playing. And you can place it right here and enter. Thank you for watching the first part. I hope you enjoyed. And if you have any questions, let me know. Check out the second part and the third part should be on the screen right now. And yeah, see ya in the next one. Bye bye.